Hey everybody, it's Jeff here, Unique Model Creations. Once again, and what we're looking at is the underside of the Enterprise E. Last video with this beastie, little beastie, one fourteen hundred scale, I had begun work using the PNT decals. These babies over here, which right now are still in plastic, mainly just to keep them dry because I'm currently working with the standard decals, the ones that come with the model. Why I am doing that is because the escape hatches. The PNT group, they are nice. You got one right there, and I still got a couple over here on this side. However, they're not showing up enough. And so I am going to turn back and throw on the original kit supplied escape hatch decals. One, they're actually going to be easier to do as well because the PNT is one sheet with one uh, film all the way over it. So you have to cut in pretty close to each uh, decal in order to get it out. Instead of each individual decal having its own uh, film applied over and then there are gaps. So you can slide one off, slide one off, slide one off and kind of can do them in kind of rapid succession as well. So, but, and plus I think that uh kind of orangish yellow color will go better with the grays that I use on this model. Now, if I was doing this more of a first contact insurrection color scheme, especially first contact, it would be great. It would be okay. Um, they do have just a little bit of color to them, but with, with the grays, it almost looked like the hatch itself is just transparent. So we're making that change and, uh, we're going to go ahead and apply these. So I'm going to pause this a second, slide these three off, get them into position. Got my Microsoft microset right there. Go ahead and, uh, slap that on them as well. Make them lay down a little bit better. I hope. And, uh, then I shall be right back with a comparison there. Oh, yeah, with some focus. With some focus. I shall be right back. Okay, and I am back. And uh, I've got those three laid down. And as you can see, yeah, there we go. It actually, they, they look so much better. On camera, almost a golden type color, but they do definitely stand out so much better. So I am glad that I've made that decision. So we're going to go on ahead and uh, get the rest of uh, all these decals on this, all the escape hatch decals on the bottom of the saucer. And then we shall uh, come right back and see what it looks like with all of its little golden hatchery glory. Okay, and after about, uh, I don't know, 45, 50 minutes later, and quite a bit of decal paper, the bottom escape hatches have been applied. Now, the only issue that I'm having is that uh, right here, Right here. Focus. Thank you. Okay. That is still one left over from the PNT kit. And I'll tell you why it's there. It's there because the kit supply decals only supply seven of the small ones, of the single escape hatch decals. The PNT have eight. Now, before I eliminate that thing right there, it is uh, my intention to step over here to see if indeedy there are so. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay. Okay. There is a picture back here. I swear there is <laughs> of the Enterprise E from when I was getting a painting done on it so let's see if I can get this off the wall it's gonna mess up some stuff I know it is by the way I have a picture there it is there it is okay okay there it is there it is and that's exactly an area where I want to see and you know what there was one there there is one right there so looks like it's gonna have to stay also look like I've got a little company too 
one little one's up. I can only work in spurts, but this is the end of it. So I guess what that is going to mean is that that actually is going to stay. Now what I can try to do is apply maybe a little bit of color to it on the end of a toothpick. See if I can paint that just a little bit of a yellowy, yellowy. Uh, get it to match. If not, then it may just be asymmetrical on here. But as you can see, I'll be right with you, buddy. As you can see, the coloration with the escape hatches being this golden color. And this is a image that I found of the 3D CG model of the Enterprise E from Star Trek Nemesis. And these escape hatches have these this golden -y color to it. So indeed, using the kit supplied decals with the color which I painted the ship, which actually is more in line with Star Trek Nemesis, this is built as a Nemesis version Enterprise. They work rather well. So that's where we're at right about now. Coming to a stopping point, I've just got to put the micro cell, I mean micro cell, micro set on top of these. And then uh, let that all dry up and stuff and get those nice and applied on there. And then I think I have two transporter pads to put uh, one right here and one right here from the PNT kit. And then after that, the bottom of the saucer will be complete. Unless I change my mind on these transporter pads or on transporter pads in general and use the yellow ones so that I have some that more show up. But I doubt that I'm going to do that. So, um, you know, just running through everything. Um, mauling is a bit slow. Um, stay at home poppy right about now and stuff, but that's okay. The only other thing I have to do underneath the bottom of the ship in general are, uh, oh, wait, 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 before I forget, the little uh, red arches to go around the uh, phaser strips. Those have to go, and there are a couple of little small detail decals that come with the PNT kit as well. I do plan on using some of those, but not a lot, because this is a small model. But I do have another one coming, in which I've ordered a number of uh, parts as well, again, to uh, make it. But it will be a first contact one, so it'll be more of the uh, kind of creamy white color uh, Starship that we saw there. And uh, definitely looking forward to that. But right about now, this is where we have gotten to. So uh, those of you who are out there building, keep building. I know I'm going to, I definitely am going to, and I'm loving being back in it. So you follow me, I do appreciate it very much. Like and subscribe to the video. Share me out there and stuff and uh, show that, hey, anybody can build a model. And it is a love. It is a love shared by all of us. Not just for Star Trek, but for everything. Cars. Star Wars. Babylon 5. Whatever you can get them all up. It's peace. And I like peace in my brain. You guys have a good day, good night, good morning, whenever you're watching this. And thank you.